Hello and welcome to the fourth practical lesson of this course. Today we will continue enhancing our dashboard functionality by adding an image map widget to display our devices on the office plan. You will learn how to add new types of attributes, use code to customize the widget appearance, and add custom image markers. So without further ado, let's get started. Before configuring the widget appearance, we need to do some preparatory work. First, we will add the office plan image as an attribute to later use it as the source for our map widget. To do this, go to Resources and select Image Gallery. Select Upload Image and attach the file from our learning materials. After this step, Select the Embed Image icon and copy the unique link that directly references your uploaded image. Now we are ready to add the attribute. To do this, go to the Entities section, select Assets, and then select Office A. Go to the Attributes tab and select the plus icon. Enter Office Plan as the name. Select string as the value type and add the previously copied link as the value. Select add. We have added a new attribute with a link to the image of the Office A plan. To visualize our devices on the Office plan, you need to specify their location coordinates as attributes. These coordinates should be within a range from 0 to 1, and in this tutorial, we will use the pre-configured values and manually set them as attributes for each device. To do this, go to Devices and select the Energy Sensor. Go to its Attributes tab, select the Server Attributes, and then select the plus icon. Enter XPOS as the name, select Double as the value type, and enter the value itself. Select Add. Then, select the plus icon once again and add the YPOS attribute with the corresponding double value. Finally, select Add. Repeat these steps to add the attributes of the other two devices. You can find their values in the learning materials. Now that we've completed the preparatory steps, it's time to add the image map widget itself. To do this, go back to our dashboard, enter its edit mode, and then select Add Widget. Select the Maps Widgets bundle and then the Image Map widget. Now we need to add an alias to extract the data about our devices. For this, in the Entity Alias field, select the Office Sensors alias. Then add XPOS, YPOS, and type as the data keys. Let's now set the previously uploaded office plan image as the widget background. To do this, navigate to the Appearance tab and scroll to the Map Provider Settings section. Specify Selected Office as the image URL source entity alias, then specify the office plan as the image URL source entity attribute. By using these settings, the widget will automatically show each customer's office plan image from the linked office plan attribute. Finally, select Add and resize the widget to your liking. Now, three markers represent our devices, with their labels showing the model names. Let's customize the widget to feature each device with a corresponding custom image marker and sensor type label for easier recognition. Additionally, we will adjust the design of labels to make them more distinguishable. To do this, go back to the Appearance tab and scroll to the Label section. Here we will change its title to feature the label of our devices, as well as modify its layout and design. The corresponding code is in the learning materials. Now let's configure custom image markers. To do this, go to the image marker section and remove the default image markers. Then, paste the function from the learning materials in the corresponding field. Here, we check the device type, 
or in other words, the device profile, and based on that, display the marker image with the corresponding index. So our task now is to upload the needed image markers in the corresponding order. The first one is the air sensor. To upload its image, select Browse from Gallery and attach its icon. Now, if the device type is an air sensor, the widget will display the marker we've just added. In the same way, upload the rest of the icons. You can find the source images in the learning materials. Once this is set up, go to the Widget Card tab and change the widget title to Office Plan. Then, go to the Advanced Widget Style section. This area allows you to modify in depth widget settings. In the Widget CSS section, input the code from the learning materials to make the label background opaque. Finally, apply your changes. As you can see, our markers have been updated, as well as the label's content and design. Let's now make the image map widget automatically fill the dashboard layout by height. To do this, Go to Layouts and select the gear icon. Then turn on the Auto Fill Layout Height option. Finally, apply your settings and save the dashboard. As you can see, the Image Map widget has filled the entire height of the dashboard. In the next lesson, we will explore actions and configure separate states to display each device's telemetry data. But for now, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.